Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Muhammad Said with you again. In this video, we're gonna learn how to use if statements in C Sharp. So let's get started with our new video. So first of all, we're gonna open our uh, Unity application. So uh, as you see guys, from the last time what we did is that we told the computer to make our character to make our player go forward so it's going forward now so let's see how to use if uh, statements so first of all we're gonna go to our player motion and which has our code so yeah let's start coding so first of all what we're gonna do here is in our public widget body we're gonna add a new um flow so we're gonna say public float uh public flow and we want that to be sideways force uh, i think it's gonna be sideways force uh force let me make sure so yeah it's gonna be a uh, sideways force and forward force so we're gonna say forward and then force and we're gonna make that equal to i think 2000 just i'm not really sure of that but i'm just trying it so that may let's me let me make it 1500 and then we're gonna copy that again and we're gonna do the same thing for our uh, sideways force so we're gonna copy this paste it and we're gonna change this from a uh, forward force to uh here forward force sideways sideways force uh let's make sure we're gonna put this over here like this and this over here and we're gonna make this 650 650 okay so now we're gonna start using if statements so here after rb.addForce, uh, we're going to press enter and we're going to say if and then we're going to put those parentheses and we're going to say input. Uh, we're going to say here input and then I think it's like this dot get key. I'm not 100% sure but I think it's like this yes and then inside here we're gonna say so first of all yes uh, before we start uh, using the functions what is a function so a function is we're gonna say or uh, we're gonna tell the computer here with the if state if statements what's if statements so if statements are like i'm gonna tell the computer if uh, i press something if i do something uh, you do something else so the thing that's gonna happen after that is gonna be scripted here we're gonna write it so if we press on a we want it to move uh we want it to move left so we're gonna do that and then i think it's yes i think we're gonna put this over here whoops this here press enter and another enter not pretty sure of that but i'm gonna come over here and we're gonna put this uh so that's just gonna be the end so we're gonna put this over here okay so this is gonna be our beginning i think yeah this is gonna be our beginning this is gonna be our end this is gonna be our code so here um we're gonna say rb.addForce rb.addForce here and then after that we're gonna say um i think it's gonna be like that minus side minus sideways force sideways force sideways force and here we want it to be uh we're gonna put that the same thing as above here we're gonna say time dot delta time so you can just write it or you can copy paste it so like we can finish fast and like that we want them we don't want this video to go uh, like so long so you guys don't get bored so after that here we're gonna say time dot delta time and then i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna say that's gonna be zero zero i think that's the way to do it and now i'm gonna put this mark over here 
I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go to my Unity folder. Um, let's do that. Let's see if we have any problems. I don't think there's anything wrong over here in our code. I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna run. So it says hold on and I'm gonna press on A and you as you see I don't I didn't press it from the beginning so it would just be easier. So as you see here when I press on A it's gonna go left. So it's going left. So I want that this I want the same thing here to happen with our D key. So like double A S D it's like the arrows. I'm not sure like here they're like those arrows like the WASD there on the other side here they're like the WASD so what we're gonna do um we're, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna copy that or let's let's just copy everything here from our if statement we're gonna copy then we're gonna come over here come back to the beginning of the line and here you have it so first of all we have to do some changes so we're going to make it from a we're going to make it to be d and instead of making it a minus sideways force so instead of going left it's going to go right so it's going to like kind of plus it's going to add so we're going to just remove that it understands without adding the plus so we don't really have to add the plus um unity is gonna like it's gonna understand and it's gonna really behave or it's gonna do something when you do that you're not gonna get any errors and i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna i think i mean i need to make it a bit faster and i think yeah i think the sideways force is to be 700 and the forward force is 2000 so let's have a look at that um we're gonna run here um we're gonna press on the a and d buttons and as you see they work but i want the uh, forward force i want the right and left force i want that to be greater i want it to be easier so okay and you can also uh, i think i didn't tell you this guys you can also change it from over here um we can also change it from over here uh so i just want it to be one i want this to be 2000 i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make this 1000 just so it becomes a bit faster so yeah so the game is fun um okay and let's save that We're gonna save that and then we're gonna go to our app just after it finishes loading and then we're gonna run and we're gonna see if it's faster um as you see guys I'm gonna see see as you see guys it's now so much faster so yeah that's it you can also change it from over here um if you guys get some problems this happened to me in the beginning uh, in your player you have to make sure that your uh here your player your script after before doing this stuff you have to make sure that it's uh when you press over here you have to make sure that it's your code the file that you want to get the code from and it might be a none and if it's not like your code's not gonna work so i prefer to do it um so yeah let's make sure there's nothing else let's just try it again um is there yeah maximize okay so it's gonna be easier now to see okay now it looks like so much way better uh but it's not gonna be uh like this how it's gonna look while you're playing it so i'm gonna go ahead and run this press on a and d so it's gonna say hold on here i i don't know what happened there but i'm gonna see again um okay okay and it works 
so yeah cool so that's it for this video in the next video we're gonna learn how to make our camera follow follow our uh player so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe this video so that's it for this one see you in the next one bye